Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Ah, my poor head. Ah, here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? I can't even reach the door handle. Hardy ha ha. What a hilarious prank, Joseph. <sighs> if I don't go out soon, I'll be late for. Let's try this way. Another letter? Do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? All right, stay calm. Let's find Jazz and move on from there. All right, uh, focus. You don't want to fall from this high up. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? Sticky, oh. Although, this liquid should help me climb up.
What in the... should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who's in Frau Berthner's room? 
Do you know Miss Burstnell well? She is my neighbour, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious. How well? Uh, <laughs> Why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this I have to call Miss Gruber. Why do you need Miss Gruber? <laughs> you just keep asking questions. <laughs> well, listen, you don't deny anything <laughs> and you don't affirm anything. You just stand there and stare at me. <laughs> What's your name and your function? Why do you need to know my name? Actually, you're right. I don't want to know your name. Why am I even speaking to you? Miss Gruber! She cannot come at this time. Oh, she can come at this time. It's her apartment after all. How long have you been living here? Long enough. But this situation is new to me. I won't say another word until I see the supervisor. Clearly need someone more intelligent to talk to. happens by itself, Miss. Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't Franz tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No, you can't leave. You are arrested. Oh, 
Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay, I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that I while you're done. here? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after <laughs> you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Kay. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure the papers preposterous. Okay, I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Kai. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrests, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me, then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are underway, and you'll be told everything, all in good time. I'm already breaking the rules being so polite with you. If your luck with the dog continues, you have nothing to fear, Mr. Kai. Tell me truthfully, what sort of people are you? To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Oh. <laughs> this must be all in yes. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke from my colleagues at the bank. It's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? If it's a joke, I'll sure be part of it. <laughs> I assure you, it's no
are making a big mistake. We're treating you politely and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free. And that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks for me. <laughs> but not before. In the meantime, don't trouble your head with a matter of no importance. Stay focused. There are many more challenges ahead. Besides, do you think we'd let you see the supervisor dressed like this? He'd have you thrashed. And us as well. Let me be, for heaven's sake. If my and my fox. Inside, Just I off. should have... Oh, where is it? Uh... Ha! A bicycle license! I guess by the seriousness of this affair, a bicycle license should be enough. Enough for what? For identification! These are my cards. And the arrest warrant. What's up, Kill? What's Oh, 
Yeah. 
Young man, why are you here? My name is Joseph K. I know who you are. You are a friend of Gregor's hamster. Oh, you know Gregor? Didn't he refer me to you? No. No, my uncle did. He's an old acquaintance of yours. Ah, oh, yes, of course. So, is it about your trial? Yes, it is. I was told to come now. I know, but you see, my desk is broken. Oh, what do you mean? Inside, I have the ledger with all the cases. Without it, I cannot work. Well, can the desk be repaired? <laughs> Probably. But for now, we must await. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we generally don't know, or at least not precisely, what the first documents need to be about. Anyway, Usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regrettable, but not entirely without its justifications. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. Is that even possible? What? To keep the trial secret from the accused. Oh, it's usually possible to a very large extent. This sounds completely absurd. So what exactly is your role? The most important thing is the lawyer's personal connections. That's where the real value of taking counsel lies. Contacts with higher officials. Or with high officials, but with lower grades. That is the only way to influence the progress of the trial. Hardly noticeable at first, it's true. But as it progresses, it becomes more and more visible. There are, of course, not many lawyers who can do this. So you have made a good choice by coming to me. Do you already have some paperwork? The law is tireless, and so are we, the defense. 
It should come to no surprise to you that we have an extensive network for relevant information. Your case is a very interesting one. Indeed, things like this don't come all of a sudden. They start developing a long time beforehand. There must have been warning signs of it. Could I see those documents? I'm afraid that is not possible at the moment. Not unless I know the date of your trial. It's in the leisure which is currently blocked in my desk. I must see them. What is the legal basis for this? I guess my desk broke due to the laws of physics. I don't mean your broken desk. I mean the ledger, the trial date, and you showing me the documents. I just wouldn't know where to search for them. Besides, something said to the private cannot be used in public. Therefore, you seeing those documents will not help your case. I would say it might even hinder the proceedings. Mr. Holt, I insist. Your trial is still in its infancy. You would get the wrong impression after reading them. They are destined for me, not for you. Trials run their course all by themselves. All they really need is a nudge from time to time. After reading the papers, you could get the wrong idea and start acting erratically. This would for sure complicate the case. This obviously is a very stupid system. How can one defend himself if he doesn't know what he stands accused of? It's far from being the lawyer's job to introduce any improvements in the court system or even to think about it. It's far from being the lawyer's job to introduce any improvements in the court system or even to think about it. Many of them spend time on the matter, time that could be spent far better elsewhere. The only right thing to do is to learn how to deal with the situation as it is. Any other approach is simply superstitious nonsense and might do incalculable harm. Not to mention attract the special attention of the officials. Never attract attention to yourself. Mr. Hole.
See it? Uh, no, no, don't worry. But your desk, it's working. Don't get so excited, Mr. K. Please keep your composure. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, let me see. Yes, just a As we mentioned before, the first set of documents needs to be prepared. This will take some time. Uh, so what about me? Should I just wait? That's what many of the accused choose to do in this situation, as your trial is still in its infancy. Hastened action could bring more harm than good. You'll have to excuse me, but I cannot just sit and wait. Patience is a virtue, Mr. K. A virtue much appreciated by the judicial system. I suggest you go back to your everyday tasks at the... at the bank. That is where you work, no? How can one just continue a normal everyday life knowing that he is accused? That he is under suspicion? You will be surprised to discover how easy it is to get used to such a situation. After a certain moment, you won't even notice the ongoing trial. Great. But at least you can tell me when my hearing is, right? Not really. Isn't it written in your ledger? It is. But as your counsel, I can't really tell you. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we generally don't know, or at least not precisely, 
what the first documents Ow. need to be about. Anyway, usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, the rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regressible, but not entirely without its justifications. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. Is that even possible? What? To keep the trial secret from the accused. Oh, it's usually possible to a very large extent. This sounds completely absurd. So what exactly is your role? The most important thing is the lawyer's personal connections. That's where the real value of taking counsel lies. Contacts with higher officials. Or with high officials, but with lower grades. That is the only way to influence the progress of the trial. Hardly noticeable at first, it's true. But as it progresses, it becomes more and more visible. There are, of course, not many lawyers who can do this. So you have made a good choice by coming to me. Do you already have some paperwork? The law is tireless, and so are we, the defense. It should come to no surprise to you that we have an extensive network for relevant information. Your case is a very interesting one. Indeed, things like this don't come all of a sudden. They start developing a long time beforehand. There must have been warning signs of it. Could I- Oh, these stamps. Oh, the certificate. Did I stamp it already? Anyway, it's official now. I'll put it with your documents. I don't quite remember why it was needed. Documents? What documents? Mr. Hold, I'm withdrawing your representation in my case with immediate effect. Uh. Do I understand you right? I think you do. Well, we can certainly discuss this plan of yours. It's not a plan anymore. We still mustn't rush anything. Nothing is being rushed. Everything has been thought through, probably for too long. The decision is final. <sighs> then allow me to say a few words. You are running the risk of catching a cold for no reason. The circumstances are important enough, and you've become impatient. I am not impatient. It is just that I came to you, hoping that this case would become less of a burden for me. Well, quite the opposite is happening. If you would represent me, I will end up worrying about the case much more. I will always, without ceasing, be waiting for you to do something. It will grow more and more tense. As for the information about the trial itself, you won't even tell me when it will occur. And I am left guessing that it's getting closer and closer. After a certain point in the proceedings, nothing new of any importance ever happens. So many litigants at the same stage in their trials have stood before me just like you are now and spoken in the same way. Then all these other litigants have been right, just as I am. I wasn't trying to show that you were mistaken, but I expected better judgment from you than from the others. I've given you more insight into the workings of the court and my own agencies than I normally do.
avoid those in office becoming deeply corrupt when everything is devoid of meaning. That is why policemen try to Oh, <laughs> 
I was told to come here. What next? I'm sorry, I don't understand. So? Tomorrow? So why did I come here today? To learn that I have to come back tomorrow? That doesn't make sense. But what's the verdict? You know for sure. He's in your procedures. You know my best friend is missing. I'm afraid something might have happened to him. Why am I thinking about him now? He might turn that back. Gregor would have helped me in this trial. He was always very agile, you know, with people. He could convince them. A born salesman. Please, no matter for your judgment. You already know the verdict. I may not describe... You already said that. Goodbye.